Hello everyone. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whenever you're watching this. Um, today's video is about low leg, foot, ankle, arch, toe mobility specifically for boxers and MMA fighters or people that have just issues with their feet. But um, I have a boxing background and I have shitty feet. Um, throughout, gr always growing up, I had problems with my um, I'm right handed, um, my mobility through my right toe. So these are things that I've learned, um, soft tissue um, uh, techniques that we can do for those low leg that have really helped me and helped my feet um, recover um, between boxing workouts or any other kind of workout. But all you need is a stick, a broom stick, wood stick. So again, you can see the diameter of the stick there. And you need either a tennis ball or a lacrosse ball. So um, either one. Again, I'd recommend going tennis ball first and then you can graduate to the cross ball butt. So first we're just going to start off with just a basic ankle roll. So nice and easy, I'm rolling up my right ankle, either direction, right to left, left to right. I'm looking, listening for popping, cracking, just taking note on what's going on when I move my ankles in specific directions. Good. Once I do the other, it's natural to compare see if one's better or worse based on mobility, the strength, and try to feel like you're pushing down a gas pedal, you know, in regards to control. I feel like I have a lot less control in my left ankle um, than I do my right. Like, I have a lot more dexterity. I can, I can move it. I feel like I can type, type a keyboard, beep, beep, beep. With the left, not so much. I got control over my big toe. But again, loosen up those ankles. Compare, contrast. Good, going through loose. There's no counting, you know, go off feel, but make sure you go through. So again, I'm the, I'm barefoot right now, just so you can see all the ligaments of my ankle, and we'll get into what exactly what I'm doing. But um, again, if you're boxing, you know, um, you can have your boxing shoes on, but if you have the ability to take your shoes off at your gym, I'd recommend uh, uh, doing so. Again, you could do these techniques before your workout or after your workout um, based on where you are. Is it going to be prehab? Is it going to be rehab? And uh, again, if you have specific questions of when to do this, feel free to um, you know, comment in the, uh, um, the section below and uh, I'll answer all your questions. First, we're going to get into the broomstick. So you can see, putting weight on my left leg, the majority of my weight, so it's probably about 80, 20, I'm slowly lowering my foot. I'm pushing my hip forward to try to keep my leg nice and straight. And from here, I want to relax the arch of my foot around that stick. So again, I would hang on here for, you know, a minute or so, and then eventually go searching. So for here, I can walk my big toes, keeping my leg straight, rolling down that foot. Grabbing it with my toes, I lost my pinky, squeezing it through, rolling it again, even Stevens, boom, do the left, keep that leg relaxed, much weight tension on my right foot, let's take that off that foot that's on that stick, and rolling back and forth. At this point, my feet are going to be tender, my feet are going to be tender, I want to take that counter stretch, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip my, put my foot up, I'm going to move back so you can see what I'm doing. And, tuck. and from here, I push my hip back and forward just slightly, putting just as much tension and weight I want on that big toe, curling that foot down. So it's below. Again, step that back, keep my knees even with one another. I put that foot straight back, and then from there, I can step it back. Straighten out my hip through and again hang out and then play around. You can even see it from this angle. Put it down and then play around with that internal external rotation of the hip, keeping that foot down, seeing where I'm catching. There, I can feel that on the uh, medial side of my ankle there. Catching the big toe. So, again, opposite side. There you go. Again, once I'm here, hang out, let my front hip flexor relax, and play around with that externally rotating that hip, and that internally externally rotating your hip. 
pushing down. And again, I'm focused on the top of my toes and my ankle relax. We're going to get into um, that arch of the foot again. Um, so I'm going to start with the tennis ball. Starting with the tennis ball is good. Um, if you have a stick and you need it to balance, you can. I'll show you how to do that. So again, depend on you know how sore you are. You can put this stick into the ground, big chest. So this and my left leg is designed to take as much weight off my foot. I don't want to pop my hip up. I want to keep my hip level, and it's up to me how much downward force I'm putting on that tennis ball. So I feel good this morning. I can really match the tennis ball. I really don't need this stick. So again, I'm going searching right off the bat. With the tennis ball, you can get right away and mash that down. Boom. Feels good. Go searching. Nice and loose. Good. Stretch out the toes again, even Stevens. Do the opposite side. Good. If I want to, if this is like the end of my workout, if this would be something that I would be um, you know, doing, because this is really going to be, uh, you know, make me a little tender, so depending on what kind of workout I want to do, this might not be the best, you know, recommendation. Um, but again, same kind of thing, putting a little cross ball down. And then, this is a hard uh, lacrosse ball, you can buy it at uh, you know, any sporting goods store. So I'll start with my left ankle. Again, keep my leg straight. My other leg takes as much time as I want. And you're just, you want to kind of embrace that uh, discomfort, you know. Uh, sit there and hang out, nice deep breaths. I found if I do, you know, focus on my breath, think of my exhale, like extinguishing that fire, specifically in that spot, like, ooh, yeah. Inhale, exhale, chill out. Good. Again, I like to do that counter stretch. Uh, big toes down, pushing through. And again, even Stevens, do the right side, hang out, roll out, and then you can see taking that back and forth. Um, this video was specifically for boxers and MMA fighters that have to work on a lot of that ankle mobility because you're using a lot of that pushing off the ground. So a lot of times the toes get sore, the ankles and um, specifically the arches of the foot get cramped up. So um, with the lacrosse ball, a tennis ball, and then a simple stick, you can be able to solve all your problems. So um, please like the video and comment below and you have a wonderful day.